Yes, fans of the Grand Tour can rejoice. It has returned to our screens. As long as you have Amazon Prime, of course. Uh, very, very excited. Very, very pleased. It's been a slightly delayed this time. It was uh, December last year when it came out. And we've had to wait a little bit longer this time. And apparently next time when it comes back, it's going to be in a slightly different format if reports are to, believe, to be believed. But I'm really pleased to see it back. The first episode has just aired on Amazon Prime. It is called Motown Funk. And I shall explain why it's called Motown Funk shortly. The clues in that title. Um, it's great to have the guys back. The first episode had a very, very familiar feel about it. It felt comfortable. It felt familiar. I think the um, they used a tried and tested formula to reintroduce people back into the show. My understanding is, well, they, they tell you at the end of the episode that the next week's episode is going to be a, a Grand Tour special, which I'm really pleased about because last year we didn't really get a proper special um, well it was only like an hour long one rather than like a two episode special but still I digress a little bit so what is this first episode about well in accordance with the title these guys head off to Detroit the Motor City um, that unfortunately isn't the Motor City anymore because it's been terribly dilapidated over the years as the game Detroit Become Human explains as well it, it was the I say the Motor City many many years ago it had 42 43 car factories it's got two now um, so the guys wanted to go to um, do a show there and they explain it's long overdue and they do one in they do a show their show in Detroit with three massive muscle cars. Um, let's, let's see if I can remember. Right. James May had one called the Exorcist. <laughs> um, Hammond had one called the Demon, and Clarkson had a Mustang. And they do all these usual they do all the usual stuff races, challenges, tests, all this kind of stuff. But there's certain things that Clarkson can't do, um, Hammond can't do, because he's not allowed to uh, drag race on the streets and things like that. He's got certain limitations that he's been told by the manufacturers with his car that he can't do, uh, which obviously uh, Clarkson and May milk for all it's worth. But it's really, really good. It's a really good segment. Uh, lots of fun, usual kind of stuff that you would get from these guys. They talk quite a lot about the history of Detroit. Um, they lament over it a little bit. Clarkson gets crossed because, you know, parts of Detroit have been turned into like vegetarian patches and things like that, which he really dislikes. But it is quite a balanced point of view, and May points out it's only a small percentage of Detroit. And then they go back to the studio for a bit. There's no guests this week, interestingly. I don't know if that'll be a theme throughout. I don't really mind if it is or it isn't. Um, I don't really watch it for the guests, this show. So they go back to the studio. They do the Conversation Street, which is the usual fun stuff. I like the Conversation Street stuff. And then they do a segment where Clarkson goes off and tests the brand new McLaren. Now, if you remember, their very first episode of the Grand Tour very first one season one Clarkson drove the McLaren P1 I believe it was called um, and he absolutely loved that car he loved it well in this episode he gets to drive the new version the updated version um, and he takes it to a special track a fast track to drive it falls in love with it as he usually does these sort of cars brings it back it goes around the Ebola ring with the resident racing driver and then once again he makes that bet that if he loses if it's the slowest then they can knock his house down sort of thing which is the same thing they did in that very first episode if you followed the series and if you want to know if it does beat the track time you'll have to watch the episode yourself and then they go back to Detroit and do the uh, they finish the uh, challenges and tests and races and all that kind of stuff around Detroit with the three massive muscle cars that they have great fun I, I don't have any complaints about this episode at all it's for me it's a very very strong 8.5 out of 10 really comfortable start to the show very enjoyable fun and also it's worth noting guys that if you if you have a gaming console you can now get the Grand Tour game as well which coincides with the show every week they release content into the game that coincides with the episode you've just watched that week so um, 
if you if you're that big a fan of the show you can go out and get a game as well and i have actually put some content up on the channel to show you what the game looks like so yeah i'm looking forward to episode two especially because it's going to be a special really really enjoyed this episode so yes guys uh i'm see you next time on screen stars